all season some excellent rides sadly no wins to uh, to show for it all but ron has been there amongst the leaders at almost every one of the grand prix he finished fifth in the points table and uh, certainly Haslam, with his eye on the Grand Prix next year, wants to clinch the title here to help him in his search for sponsorship. A reminder that Sheen in pole position, Haslam next to him, McKelvey, Sheen's teammate in the Heron Suzuki, Mick Grant on another Suzuki, and Paul Lewis, a privateer, and away they go, and it's Haslam with a superb start but Sheen is trying, you can see him on the tank, and Haslam moves over to the right-hand side of the track, and Haslam is going to lead with Sheen in second place, McKelvey goes round the outside, so Rob McKelvey, there is the picture, Wake Gardner's fourth, so that really is an excellent start for the men in contention, Haslam, the man who leads the championship, is the man in front, Barry Sheen is in second place, Rob McKelvey is third, and Wake Gardner, who took a tumble, in practice this morning and Sheen goes through Sheen has taken the lead Barry Sheen is in front Ron Haslam has got a fight on his hands but of course Haslam doesn't have to win to win the title and sad news is that poor old Roger Burnett with the nicer Suzuki had a problem at the start and has failed to make the race the young man who's doing so well in the European Championships this man though has done it all in the Grand Prix and the man that I thought was Wayne Gardner was in fact Roger Marshall, I think, Peter. Yes, it's Wayne Gardner's back in seventh place, and that's uh, Roger Marshall in fourth behind McElnay with Sheen leading and Haslam second as they break into the chicane. And that's cement dust lying on the track. Sheen pointed out a slippery patch, and the Marshals have put the cement dust to dry it up. The end of the first lap with Sheen leading from Haslam and McElnay, and Haslam going for the inside line. Sheen traditionally goes wide, he goes across the front of Haslam. Sheen in command, Haslam second, McElney third, Paul Lewis is up to fourth. Roger Marshall is now in fifth place in six bodies, Mick Grant, and in seventh position is number eight, Wayne Gardner, who qualified them in 21st place. And that was, of course, after taking the top ball and having the second machine seize during the opening practice session. Sheen, the race leader. This is the second of 18 laps. And uh, Sheen, of course, vigorously denying that this will be his last race. Haslam second, McKelney third. riders in Europe in action here today Sheen and Haslam Sheen of course finishing sixth in the world championship table behind Haslam Haslam second at McKelney third Lewis is fourth in fifth place Mick Grant and Haslam Marshall. takes the lead in fact Sheen goes through on the inside a remarkable piece of riding and these two men great friends as well as great rivals very a regular visitor into the uh, Haslam motorhome this year on the Grand Prix trail Sheen then battling away with Haslam and of course Haslam in this position would collect 12 more points he's got a six point lead over Gardner at the moment so Haslam still very much on target to clinch the World of Sport Challenge Sheen, 34 years of age on September the 11th. Haslam, 28 years old. And uh, Rob McKelney, Paul Lewis, Roger Marshall, Mick Grant. And uh, behind Mick Grant, of course, uh, was Wayne Gardner. And another change because Haslam has gone in front. Outbreaks Barry Sheen. And... This is the end of the third lap. 15 more laps to go. Haslam in front, Sheen second, McKelney third. And uh, Rob McKelney, of course, the man in third place, is the young man that the Heron Suzuki concerned believe is the man that will take over where Sheen left off. And this uh, bike's very exciting, number 19. It's the aluminium uh, monocoque frame 
produced by the Super Geige and Heron in England. It's a, a aluminium honeycomb with aluminium sheets either side. A real space age development this number 19, written by Rob McElnay. And Sheen pressurising Haslam. There's McElney in third spot. the tyre tracks of Haslam, Haslam D skimming the ground as they come out of McLean's down the back straight underneath the Dunlop Bridge into the chicane again they'll have completed four laps this time and Haslam making tremendous use of the works three-cylinder Honda it's a fuck of works machines run by the factory from Japan and Gardner is up into fourth place Wayne Gardner is fourth and he's just four seconds behind Ron Haslam Gardner who uh, took a tumble at San Marino in practice he broke some fingers and uh, the doctor there at the track stopped in. You can see Gardner trying very hard to close on those three men ahead of him. And Gardner, he's using the production version of the Honda. That's run by Honda in Britain. Not quite as powerful as the machine ridden by Ron Haslam, but every, very, very close. That's Wayne Gardner, the Humberside-based Australian. Very stylish rider and uh, Roger Marshall goes ahead of Paul Lewis and there's the gap first three safely through there's Gardner into the chicane hard then Marshall then Lewis then Mick Grant and Gardner obviously taking his time in the first few laps he had a very disruptive practice and uh, there's probably a few things he had to sort out of the machine and be certain of the tyre performance and the machine performance before he's got his head down and chasing Sheen and Haslam in front well that chase at the moment is in vain because Haslam is stretching the advantage between himself and Gardner in fourth place Gardner of course uh, the only man or in fact one of the two men who could have caught him because Roger Marshall won 16 points with 15 would go to 31 but Gardner now 4.8 seconds behind Haslam and Haslam about three or four machines length if that ahead of Barry Sheen and Haslam may be in front but Sheen is there all in every inch of the way and he's sort of a wily old campaigner he's testing to see which parts of the circuit Ron is quickest and he's getting right in the slipstream for the Honda now down the straight Well, Rob McKelney on the uh, Project Suzuki being dropped off a little bit, and that, I'm sure, would be a little bit disappointing for the Heron Suzuki people. This bike, uh, they've been working on all, all year, and it certainly doesn't appear to be as quick as this two-year-old Grand Prix bike of Sheen. No, Sheen seems to have the edge on performance, but, of course, uh, this number 19 is still a development bike, and maybe they've uh, struck a, pro a minor problem in this race. Rob McKelvey, a very talented man, of course, uh, not just good on uh, short circuits, but sensational on uh, road circuits, like the Isle of Man CT. And Sheen's in the lead, I think Barry Sheen has taken the lead there, Absolutely, swept Peter. past Ron Haslam. Looked as though a glimpse of the leaders, and he looks as though Sheen is back in command. This is the third place man, and there's Barry Sheen, just again two or three machines thanks so now it's Haslam's turn to see where his bike and how his